hey guys you welcome back to my channel so this is learn french with queen your trusted space for learning french if this is the first time you're stumbling on my video and you're wondering what's up on this platform okay this is your space for anything french <laughs> if you know if you want to know what we are doing on this platform do well to check off my previous video if you like them give them thumbs up share to loved ones and don't forget to click that button subscription button is quite important okay so in today's video we'll be looking at african dishes and how they are referred to in french language so it's quite important for us to know that if you are not a french you will not be learning french it is because you are not a french that is why you are learning french and of course because you are not a french each person or each person yes i i mean each person learning a language as a culture as a country he or she is from if you are from an anglophone country each anglophone country as is our own culture if you are from germany or from span or, or from spain you speak spanish or from other countries that speak spanish african countries you have your cultures and you your way of life especially in today's video we're looking at food you know food is quite important because this is what keeps us healthy you can't do without food per day so now how do we describe some of this food we take that, that the french people do not eat how do we integrate our african culture into the french culture okay so we're looking at some of our, some of our dishes and how we can describe this food while we are communicating so first of all we have what is referred to as rice and rice in french language is referred to as lori okay so this one is a common food almost everywhere but in the african culture we have different forms of rice of course that's what makes it unique that there's a way you prepare it <laughs> in your place or it's prepared in another way in another place so we have this traditional form of rice you have the jollof rice it's also referred to as fatty rice so when you want to eat that you know that it is a special delicacy <laughs> so jollof rice how do we refer to jollof rice in french language obviously we say lori melange of course it is mixed that's why you call it lori melange so because it's a mix, you mix so many things into it to make it your jollof rice. You have so many ingredients and spices mixed up here and there. So we refer to it, we refer to jollof rice as lori melange. And of course, we have this common traditional rice as well, which is called alfada rice. Alfada rice actually looks like a plain rice, and then you have your soup on it or your or your your stew on it. So you have of other rice avec la sauce you know that dry kind of pepper soup that you put on it make it sumptuous delicious so how do we refer to it if you want to refer to offer the rice okay so you refer to it as offer the rice or if you want to describe it you can as well say lori blanc because offer the rice is looking color white so you refer to it as lori blanc avec la sauce ou bien la soup whichever way you want to eat it so that is how we refer to this and we have this other form of rice we have the fried rice of course the fried rice is a general form of rice everywhere so how do you refer to the fried rice because we are actually learning we say lori frites okay so of course it is fried fried rice re frites so that's it fried rice refers to as lori frites so that's her side so we have another one that's referred to as couscous <laughs> I mean, they said couscous before. If you've not said it, it's actually delicious, sumptuous, sweet. <laughs> it's a nice delicacy as well. So, couscous is actually looking like rice as well. So, the first time I tasted couscous, I was like, ah, this one is looking like, I don't understand. But when I tasted it, well, it was amazing. So, if it's somebody that cooks it well for you, you will like it. Okay. So, most times I want to take food. When it is well prepared, of course, you are going to like it. <laughs> you are going to like it so we have couscous couscous is couscous everywhere so that's that about that so we have another type of food we have our beans our beans which is referred to as arico 
okay so harikot is not just traditional it's not an african dish in the pure form so the various things we make out of harikot is what makes it traditional what makes it african okay so this common food now now let's look at a current local form and it's called bean cake in english language of course this is traditional <laughs> you can eat a current alone most of it is taking what is called pub so we have pub and bean cake okay so how do we refer to this in french language then we are talking so we are wondering does french people take pap do they eat hakara so how do you call it in french language <laughs> so if you want to refer to your pap and your bean cake in french language pap is referred to as la bouillie okay la bouillie so and you have your bean cake to be referred to as beignet Okay, so now let me let, let me stress this. Akara or your bean cake is not the only type of food referred to as beignet. So beignet is just a general form for things in this format. Or should I say delicacies made in that form. What is beignet itself? Beignet is something that is made out of flour and is in a solid form and it is fried. Okay, so when you have our akara, you can see is made from our beans now farine <laughs> our flour our beans flour and you know you grind it you make it wet before you can prepare this hakara okay or your bean cake so it is being made it is in a solid form and it is being fried so it's referred to as beignet so you can say je prends la bouillie avec le beignet ou bien de beignet of course you can't have it uh, you, you can't have just well depending of course it's not countable it's not something like that is countable so you, of course it's not something that is countable you can have so you your prend la bouillie avec the beignet so you have it's you can't we can't quantify the quantity of what you are taking okay so that is that for your bean cake and for your pub of course you can take your pub as well with another thing in the african setting which is referred to as moi moi so how do we refer to moi moi in french language of course myself i don't know the name there <laughs> i don't know the name moi moi is being called in french but it is quite important for us to note that some things are just accepted that way okay some things are referred are referred to just the way it is naturally whether in your african culture or something is referred to them the natural name is given to them you can call them that way as well in french language just insert the name to it just like saying a place is called lizard and you now because you want to change the name you now say lo lise refer to the name of that place as lizard or because a place is referred to as live you now say fey no you refer to the name of that place as live the supermarché leaf something like that okay so there are some things that are generally accepted just because we have different or varieties of culture so if you refer to it as moi moi as well fine <laughs> because moi moi is not fried this time around moi moi is void and it is in a solid form as well so moi moi as moi moi but if you know what moi moi is called in french please give it to me at the comment section <laughs> So we we'll move to another one. We we'll move to what we refer to as okra. Have the okra soup. This one is very important. <laughs> so okra is referred to as logombo. Of course, in the African setting, we don't just take your okra like that. Now, your okra can be prepared in varieties of form, and it can be garnished or spiced up with various things, just the way you want it to your taste. You know, <laughs> it's so amazing when you take it. And of course, you don't take okra soup alone you take it with something else your swallow this solid foam uh -huh. so you take it with la pat now let me explain la pat so we call it la pat because because it is in a pastry form and then is in a pastry form and it is made out of la okay so that is where we call it is is cooked of course and it's, in, it's made out of flour and in a pastry from solid so it's referred to as pat so you can refer to your eba as well as la pat you should prend la pat avec or avec uh, le gombo or you should prend la pat ou bien you should prend eba ou bien you prend gari avec la, la, la sauce ou bien la soupe de gombo something like that okay so that is how 
the communication takes place okay so we, we, we refer to you or you, or you can just call the name the way it is naturally eba gary avec okro soup <laughs> i said avec okro soup don't mind me avec la sauce du gombo and please note she brought la part avec la sauce du gombo so that's the way we refer to that in french language <laughs> and of course there are some things just like i said their names are not in french language so you can just refer to that in just the way it is if you don't know the name not necessary <laughs> that everything must be interpreted in french language because french people don't take these things the african people take them so that's just it okay so we have another one we have which is referred to as founded yam so they say if you are a king you should take founded yam <laughs> so that means they say founded yam is the king of all food <laughs> okay so founded yam <sighs> So I basically it's pounded now that is very soft and well prepared. We all pound it. We refer to pounded yam in French language as inyam pile because why it is pounded. Okay, so when you want to pound in French language, you say pile pound. So what do we pound with? We pound with le pilon et le mortier. Le mortier et le pilon. Okay, so your pistol and your mortar. Now, of course, we don't eat our pounded yam alone. We eat it with our soup. Okay, so we have la soup in French language and we have soup as well in English language. Okay, so our soup, we have different type of soup in the African settings, different kind of soup. Okay, so you can take it with the agusu soup, uh, banga soup, okra soup, iwedu soup, you know, edikai come from the eastern part of Nigeria, different type of soup. And so, how do you, how do, how do you give all the soup their names in the French language? You want to translate egusi into French, so you call it the name, it is la, la soup de gusi, ou bien la sauce de gusi, okay? So, whichever way you want to refer to your soup, you just put la soup, then the name of the soup at the back of it. So that's the way we we take it in French language and we do it in the African settings. Okay, and so let me round up with this. I said earlier that we we, we say eba or something solid our swallow. We can refer to them as parts. It's not only swallows that I refer to as parts. Okay, so it's better for you to understand the meaning. It's a general form in referring to something that is pastry in nature. Okay, so. Eba could be pastry in nature. Your fufu could be pastry in nature. It's, a, it's made with a flour and it is solid. It's pastry. Now it's solid. You know. So when you want to refer to these things, you can say la part in general. You want to refer to your fufu and your soup, your la different type of soup. Okay, your fufu, your eba, your amala. Uh -huh. You can refer to them as la part. You prend la part avec quel type de soup? okay <laughs> so that's it so now and another thing you should notice there is what we call la pâte and lo pâté don't mix it up so lo pâté is from the patisserie of course it's, it's pastry as well but this time around these are made up they are how should i say it they are garnished up or spiced up with either fish meat and the rest of them inside of it and you know they are prepared that way some could be fried some could be baked for example you have your your meat pie your fish pie your spring rolls and the rest of that so all these ones are referred to as pate you know when you take pizza seeing people taking them refer to them as pate ah uh, j'ai j'ai acheté du pate et bien j'ai acheté quelque chose avec du pate so things like that so and of course another way if I round it up, finally, of referring to your to your part, la part, like I said, the swallow, la part, if you want to refer to them. If you don't know the name, you can as well describe the food by saying what it is, what the food is made up of. When I say it's made up of, that is how the food is being produced. Okay, for example, you can have your fufu, you are taking your fufu. You can as well say that, you can as well say that, okay, je prends la sauce de guzi avec le fufu. Comment on fait le fufu? On fait le fufu avec farine de manioc, okay? Your, from your cassava flour, okay? So you can describe it that way. Your farine de manioc, okay? So cassava is 
manioc so you farin the manioc cassava flour we are farin the blade we have the wheat flour so we can take our wheat as well with our soup okay or you can make it in form of bouillas where your your your, your wheat can be boiled and taken that way okay and we have farin dinam so the one we refer to that kind of as amala <laughs> avec les different types de sauce would be soup okay so this is it this is where we'll be taking a pause on our african dishes and the way we refer to them in french language on today's video i hope you find this useful okay so if you find this amazing useful informative or even educative do best well to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share to love ones and don't forget click on that button the subscription button let's keep the community going so see you to my next time applause